mentioned that it's been tempered. I've given the proofs um, uh, to the committee and uh, it's up to them now to uh, decide what to do with that. And uh, so far I'm pretty much satisfied what uh, the, the committee is doing for, for us. Uh, we'll have to wait what they um, come up with. Uh, we heard that some of the uh, some of the members of the administration they have also contacted you for some sort of uh, compensation. Is it true? Uh, well, not directly to me. No one has contacted me directly. No. And basically, the question is, is what happened in the inquiry? Are you satisfied with the inquiry, or because it took almost two hours? So what happened there? Well, there was um, a lot of questions raised by me, which uh, these people um, had to answer. Then there were questions raised by the committee, uh, which they, these people again had to answer. Um, so we have give, they have given all their answers uh, to the committee, and uh, now we'll just have to wait for the results. So yeah. when they when they say that when the result will be expected in this regard? Well, I have no idea about that. Is there any further demands you have uh, regarding this case? Yes, I have requested uh, the doctor hospital to uh, provide us the CT CCTV footage uh, of, of the night when this incident happened. I have to present it on record because we have heard that some of the record has been seized by the, on the orders of High Court. Uh, well, they claim that they have given all the relevant records, but uh, I have demanded to give us the original registers, the re reception registers where uh, the, 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 the arrival time, the name, the address and um, all the relevant details, contact details um, is basically uh, uh, written. But as of I haven't got that uh, register. Thank you very much, Akil. So uh, that was Mr. Akil, and as you heard, that he is still not satisfied with the record presented by the doctor hospital administration in the inquiry board. Uh, let's go inside because some of the inquiry team members they are still right now present over there, and let's talk to them. That what they say about it. So, Megan. Uh, okay, as you heard, definitely the inquiry committee members they are right now working on it, and uh, soon we are expecting that they will also uh, submit their report. They will complete it. But as we have heard, that it has been proved in the investigation as well. And the administration has also confirmed this in their report as well that one of the doctors is uh, responsible behind it but however they are, the administration is denied to take any uh, negligence from their part as well. And that was uh, Shiraz Asnath, our correspondent, uh, following up on the inquiry in the death of uh, three-year-old Imani Malik. We'll keep you updated on that front. Now, Express News, as we've been talking about this case, uh, talked to Health Minister Ijaz Hussain Jakrani about Imani Malik's case. Let's hear what he had to say. Okay, yeah, I heard about this case and uh, I have already ordered inquiry in this matter. Uh, we will definitely take action if there is uh, any professional negligence in it. The thing is, uh, uh, as, lo uh, as long as you said it about legislation, yes, it is. there should be a legislation. And the, uh, the health is a provincial subject, as you all know. The legislation should come from the provinces, not from the federal. Definitely we'll give them the standards. That's our job. But the legislation, provinces have to come forward and do the legislation. There is certain uh, actions uh, we can take uh, uh, in PMDC law. And we are going to do that uh, as uh, this hospital. We already heard complaints about this hospital named Doctors. Uh, we already heard in case of uh, Homa Akram, we had complaints and we did make an inquiry. And uh, uh, of course, there is professional neg negligence. Three railway employees have been killed and 10 people injured after a crash.